it is here ill gotten gains part one now as you know by the title of this video i'm hopping straight in to check out the new supercar so guys hit the like if you're enjoying the new dlc so far if you even have got a chance to play it so two million dollars in gta is that's a lot of money and well look at this car but is it worth it well that's for me to find out now it is I think it's amazing looking. I was watching another YouTube video and I didn't think it was all that amazing, but whenever I have my own here, it is so nice. Now, for $2 million though, is it better than a Zentorno? Uh, I'm not sure, but um, I have one major flaw with it, and look at them doors, they're amazing. This is my big flaw, the interior. Now. I don't know, like, this car is based off the new Zonda that Pagani released, and which the interior is so cool. They do, like, the brown leather and wood and stuff, and the metal. It's awesome. I just wish that Rockstar focused on that a bit, considering the price tag of this car and Elgon Gains. But, uh. Well, let's go and see what it's like. I'm not going to test it on the sand, that wouldn't be fair. So we're going to hop out onto the main road. Oh, I love how this thing drives. It's amazing. It drives so nice. We're going to head straight to the mod shop now and see what kind of upgrades this thing has. So, let's tempt this. I'm not going to show you. Well, yeah, I'm actually going to go through every uh, upgrade, whether or not. Typical armor, brakes, nothing out of the ordinary here. Bumpers, there seems to be more than average here. Oh my. Uh, oh, carbon. Oh, damn. Meh. Carbon. A dust filter just in the back, I'll take that. I think I like the primary color splitter, that's a good choice. And it's already max acceleration. Oh, the exhaust. Race exhaust. Oval exhaust and chrome, chrome tip all the way. Fenders. 450 just for a ton vents, okay. Horn doesn't matter. Neons, we'll take them. Uh, I think it might go red. Yes. Play it black, of course. Respray. Primary color, I want to keep it with the metallic black, I think. We'll go black. With the pearlescent of like. Oh, damn. Let's look for a nice red pearlescent. Oh damn. Oh. That's already on it. Damn. Maybe a metallic red this time. Already on it. I, I could love the colors too much. It has to be the black. It has to be. Oh damn. The spoiler looks so good. Hmm. I think we need the race wing, not the GT wing. Transmission, no point putting it on. Turbo, 12 grand on nothing. The wheels are so nice already. Let's see, let's see. Let's get, look for some nice wheels on this. Something kind of deep dish, maybe. Back looks good. Got some wheels, both of tires. Red tire smoke. Oh. Guys, this car. So now the oh damn this car, all upgrades, 100% everything, max out everything. I'm just so excited. I'm gonna give this thing a proper test, and then this is when we'll find out if it's really worth the two million in-game dollars. So guys. Oh my god, 
god, but this thing is insanely fast. Oh, thank you for getting out of the way. Oh, the noise. There's like a supercharger twine. of this thing is crazy. It's amazing. Through so, right here. Got the bricks. It's very manageable. Compared to like oh, this will be a test for it anyway. Here in Driverland, and I know that's for sure. Two million price tag at the start <laughs> seems like a lot for what you get, but if you're going to buy this car for two million, that's all you got. Don't waste your time. Go get a Zentorno and fully upgrade it because that'll only cost you about one and a half to fully upgrade. But if you have like three to four million buy this car fully upgrade it and say no more so is it worth two million if you have the money yes if you don't then don't even just get a Zentor no but oh my god it's a I want one on GTA online now but just the noises it makes fully upgraded so that's my opinion guys so if you have the coins coins if you have the money go get it I wouldn't spend real money on it, like buying shark cards, but it's amazing. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm going to be doing more on the stuff from Ill-Gotten Games. So um, check it out in the description. And uh, yeah, this was the new Pegasi hypercar, basically. Next, I might look at the uh, Benefactor Sterling GT. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.